Thanks for watching Lay Reddit. Please take 2 seconds to subscribe to the channel. Videos are posted daily and I need friends. Subscribe please. People of Reddit, what did you find out about your friend's sex life that actually shocked you? Always bragged about how much sex he had, would never shut the hell up about it. One of those guys. Super annoying. Plus this dude was not smooth with girls in any way whatsoever. Would always just nod and play along. Always thought he was full of shit. Then I found out he raped every single one of them. That took a turn. It went from a one of them to hutter Jesus Christ in the span of, what, 4 sentences? Not smooth as the giveaway. Whether er in a relationship. Consensual BDSM. Sadistic roleplay etc. Yow've always gotta be smooth. Yeah, he was the kind of guy where you would watch women avoid him because he made them so uncomfortable with his aggressive, uncomfortable flirting. We all just thought he was lying. But I talked to a few of the girls that I knew later on and they told me what really happened. Last I heard he was getting really into psychedelics and cocaine and living out of his car in Sacramento. Holy shit that needs a whiplash warning. My best friend uses blowjobs as bribery to an insane degree. I mean, I'm not above a little BJ bribery myself, but she uses it on her husband like several times a day. Wants coffee, but doesn't want to make it, BJ. Doesn't want to clean the dishes, BJ. It's her turn to walk the dogs, BJ. It's kind of hilarious, she's super lazy, but prefers giving him head to doing most chores and apparently it works for him too. She also doesn't want sex as often as he does, so she finds this keeps him happy and she doesn't feel the need to put out as much. All of which I find hilarious. Yeah I wait on her hand and food, but do you get 5 blowjobs a day? Does she know how much easier it is to just make coffee instead of giving a blowjob? On the bright side, she must have that shit down to a quick science by now. Honestly it sounds like she just likes giving head. Making coffee is for sure much easier. Yeah, that's not bribery anymore. That's roleplay. Make a cup of coffee for a blowjob? Shit I'll do that all day. You might get fired from Starbucks, though. Years ago, my insecure virgin friend bragged to us about finally losing his virginity to the hottest chick. We didn't believe him because he always made up stories about this which were broken open every single time. He was obsessed with being a virgin at the age of 24 and his number one goal was to lose it. Needless to say, he wasn't in a healthy state of mind and we tried our best to boost his confidence and convince him that it didn't matter, but to little effect. He said that, this time, he'd prove it to us so we know he wasn't lying. Well one night we're at the pub and he brings her over. Really gorgeous girl. We gently begin to pry into the details of their sex life. She is very open about it and says she had been with my friend for 2 months and that he's spent the night with her dozens of times. Afterwards, some of us thought it was a conspiracy where he paid the girl to lie. We never saw them kiss or anything that night. Eventually, we came to accept it and felt happy for our friend, because looks like he finally achieved what he so desperately wanted. We never saw the girl again, though this isn't abnormal because we usually don't bring our GFS around to hang out. A few months later I saw the same girl on the train. I asked how her boyfriend was doing and she said he's doing good and left for the air force. My virgin friend was still in town, obviously. So I asked well what about, virgin friend, did you lie to us that night? She said that no, he has been over to their house many times for sex. Except the sex took place exclusively between her and her air force bf while my virgin friend watched. She had a kink for sexually humiliating guys and I guess my virgin friend thought it was better than nothing. Then it dawned on me that the wording she used that night was deliberately evasive, though technically not lying. I never told anyone and I never confronted him. A few months later they broke up and my virgin friend, years later, still brings up stories about how he used to hit that. But I just play along and keep his secret. That was a wild ride. Not for the virgin friend. The freak did I just read man, what the hell lol. You were the bigger man and it was the right thing to do. Good for you for letting him keep whatever dignity he had. You are a true friend. I know if one of my friends knew my deepest darkest secret they'd save for ammo when we fight verbally as our other friends watch. In high school a classmate of mine was bragging one day about losing his virginity to a lady in our community who happened to be the mother to a girl a grade above us. 
We all called bullshit and asked why he'd make something like that up cause not only is it not believable it just wasn't even a funny lie. Fast forward 6 months and fellow classmate has to to leave class on multiple occasions to go to court. Older lady was bragging to a co-worker about sleeping with said classmate and now older lady is a sex offender. I freaked your mom might be funny. But I fucked your kid is just downright illegal isn't it? Can you imagine if I freaked your kid jokes were as common as I freaked your mom jokes that'd be wild. They'd probably be more effective. Best friend in HS was casually seeing this dude who was a senior our sophomore year. Well he graduated and dumped her. Next year his brother started HS. She proceeded to date him. Took both of their virginities. Achievement unlocked. Eskimo brothers. Edit. Yes. Tunnel buddies. EBDB. I get it. Blood bond bonus. In Bulgaria, when a guy sleeps with two sisters it's called the small helmet. The big helmet is with mother and daughter. So congratulations to your friend for achieving the small helmet. And I think that the virginities make it the ultimate small helmet. Really. Good job. Edit. Thank you for the silver. It's my first. Now that's my top comment and my only award. Why do you have a name for that? Bulgaria. Thank you for watching. Got a similar story? Share it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lay Reddit for more daily Reddit goodness. Subscribe bless.